Hello guys, this is the biggest video game nerd, and today I'm going to tell you why Saints Row the Third sucks. I am a Saints Row fan. I've been playing Saints Row, um, I've been playing, I played Saints Row 1 and 2, beat them, and they were the best sandbox games ever. One of the top 10 best games I've ever played, actually. They have compelling stories, they're amazing, and Saints Row the Third just kind of ruined the whole uh, Saints Row experience for me. And I'm going to say why. Okay. This is the first thing, right off the bat, when I'm on the menu. They took out multiplayer. People still play multiplayer Saints Row 2 to this day. Okay, there's no reason why they took out the multiplayer. I'm not talking about the co-op, where you could join someone's game or something. Okay, whatever. You know. But, that's just, you know, ridiculous. That they took away the multiplayer. And also... You know, when when they tell you, that's why um, having an online pass or not having an online pass is not a big deal. Because the only thing you lose is co-op, not multiplayer. They even have multiplayer in Saints Row 1. You know, and that game was made in 06. That's just one thing. Another thing why is just the story just messed up. It, it's... I know a lot of people are saying this, but it's way too unrealistic for me. Like, Saints Row 1 was realistic. Very, very, very realistic. Like, okay, there are some things like Zombie Lynn that were just not realistic, but it's that one, it's that balance of, you know, creativity and realisticness that makes me love games so much. And when they made it, like, a goofy-style cartoonish thing, it just made me, like, you know, I was, like, uh, you know, um, I like the story, though, besides all the childish things that they have in, like, uh, you know, well, they're not childish, but they're just cartoonish, really, they're not childish. They're M rated games. They have penetrators and a whole bunch of stuff, blood gushing all over the place. But another thing I don't like about the game is that they completely, I mean, completely redid the characters. Shondi. Look at Shondi from Saints Row 2 and today's Saints Row, the Saints Row the Third, whatever. It's a huge change. It only takes place like, um,. Like mate, like very a good like few years, several years or something after the events of Saints Row 2, and that's not you know did she have like surgery or something and have new hair? Cause that's just like mm. they changed Pierce up a little too. Not as drastic of a change, but a change. Same with Johnny Gat, but it's just all these changes that were just like hmm. because Johnny Gat. And Julius, um, and Dex even, were, you know, were basically changed to, you know, a realistic, you know, reason. And speaking of Dex, where is he? Dex, um, you know, uh, the main character said, oh... Um, I'm gonna go find out the city that Dex is in, and I'm gonna go kill him. Well, Dex wasn't in Steelport, was he? No. Seriously, I mean, I hope this happens in the next Saints Row game. Um, but seriously, I wanted Dex to be in Saints Row the Third. That's just my opinion. I wanted Dex in there. Um, no, yet another reason why I did not enjoy Saints Row the Third is because of the missions. The game was short. Okay, now you guys are going to say, oh, but there were like 48 missions or so. Well, okay, but some of those missions were just activities, um, like Escort, Snatch, you know, those are activities in Saints Row 1 and 2. Now they're considered missions? You serious? And then they made DLC, which I'm not going to get. Because DLC is just, you know, they make DLC for 
what? For why? Because they want to make money, but they're not going to make any money from me because I bought a full $60 game and I want, you know, I'm only going to pay $60. That's, that's how I see it. Um, I ain't gonna, you know, give them any THU, any more money in their pockets. Um, they frankly don't deserve it, and I'm glad, I'll be glad if they go out of business, seriously. Only if the Saints Row, like, I mean, yeah, Saints Row's already ruined. They're not gonna go back to the old formula anyway, so whatever if Saints Row ends. I got sleeping dogs and stuff. But yeah, I mean, there are many more reasons why Saints Row the Third sucks. Many, many more. Like how the cheat codes don't work. And many, many more reasons. But I'm just going to leave the video here. I already gave a good amount of reasons why Saints Row the Third sucks. Um, I'm a huge fan of Saints Row, but this title was just very mediocre. I'm sorry. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later.